Hello. Good morning, it's Thursday and I'm really happy to say that it is sunny. It just perked me up no end. It's really horrible getting up early and having to trudge to the train station in the pouring rain. So I'm really happy that it's sunny but I'm running late. <laughs> finished rehearsals and been to Lidl's to get shopping for dinner <clears throat> so my throat's gone I'm really tired today I'm um, gonna have mushroom pasta for tea so just nip to Lidl's across from where our rehearsal space is and I'm waiting at the train station but yeah Friday tomorrow the week's gone really quickly um, looking forward to tomorrow but I am looking forward to the weekend seeing my friends and having a lot of my Matt's just come to get me from the train station. Oh, why are you getting a bit confused Sorry. there? And he's got a hot dog. Mm. <laughs> is that good? You know, when you're so hungry, it's like all you need is food. Mm. That's what I feel like right now. I know when you've got lingering, sort of haven't eaten breath. Yeah. And it's just stinging. Oh, lovely, Matt. So, we're going to go home now and make some pasta. I'm so looking forward to it. We're in Mission Burrito having some dinner and I've got a rice box, oh Matt's got, you can't see it, a burrito and I also went there with um, candy kittens in the middle of town you know like the ones from Made in Chelsea and I'm a bit of a sucker for Made in Chelsea so I got a, um, well Matt bought and I got apple and elderflower see those flip. So yeah, yummy Friday night, Mexican food, yummy. So I just bought Matt a little present, Friday treat. What did I get you? Big old cake. <laughs> Big old cake from Patisserie Valerie. I just bought him a little, there's your bag, where's your little curly bag One full bite. of I'm little chocolate. Gonna, I'm not even going to taste it, I'm just going to eat it. Oh, you're a ridiculous man. So yeah, we just got all our treats and our DVDs and we're on our way home. Friday night, cake night. This is a double chocolate gatto. Mm. Is that good? Mm. I'm not showing my pants, but don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, obviously I wasn't. Now you said it, I'll have to edit it out. Friday night, we eat cake in our pants. Good morning, it's the weekend and I'm just doing some emailing and computer stuff. Matt's gone to work and everybody else is at work so I'm just in his house on my own like, hmm, what do I do? <laughs> it's really quite strange so I think I might be meeting up with Hannah today but right now I'm just sort of like pottering about on the internet. It's a bit like, ooh, that's weird isn't it? I might go out in Bath and do a bit of filming later and go to the shop I'm quite hungry so I'll probably make some breakfast in a minute but <laughs> I feel like home alone or something I feel a bit like oh I have I don't know what to do I just spoke to my mum on the phone for the second time that we oh for the second time since we got here and it was really really sad and I feel really lonely because today Matt's gone to work and all my friends are busy but I'm going out tonight with my friends so I'm just like I'm just about to go into town on my own but now I've just missed my family so I just feel like oh I feel a bit sorry for myself but oh well I'll just go and have to do some retail therapy to cheer me up it's a tough life eh? shop and got Matt's new shirt which is really nice and my mum has been so lovely and given me £20 to do a bit of shopping so I've got a bit of Saturday sweetie money as she put it so I was a bit sad when I got off the phone from her so she's decided to cheer me up which is nice. Everybody. 
so I was out shopping this afternoon and my camera died so it's just fully charged now and um, me and Matt are going to the pub to meet some friends <laughs> Wanna build a snowman? Not that it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. This is our pumpkin snowman. She's called Phyllis. She's got elephantitis. She's got, she's got problems. She'll be dead in a week. Matt! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. We bought this pumpkin for Lauren as a practical joke and it just really failed. Like, she just didn't care. <laughs> like, at all. We thought it would be so. We were like, yeah, we we're planning it all in Morrison. It's like, yeah, this will be hilarious. We'll carry this massive pumpkin home and she'll love it. And it was like that. She just doesn't want it. It's called Phyllis. Cookies and milk. <laughs> you big, greasy baby. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Dribbling milk all over the place. You stink. <laughs> she had like ten biscuits on that plate. <laughs> oh dear. Hi. Hi. I've been editing the Cupcakes Halloween tutorial video for three days now because I just don't have time to edit it. And I've just finished it and I'm about to do my custom thumbnail and it's going to feel amazing when I actually click publish on this video because it's taken me so long. Oh dear. I do like making videos. I'm really liking it but it was much easier when I was in Cornwall and I didn't have a job because at the moment I'm out of the house for 12 hours a day and then I come back and I'm like oh I really want to upload my video but I've got to edit it and um, I feel like the vlogs is going to be really boring this week because I haven't done anything so that's why you're going to spend the day with Matt tomorrow and God knows what he's going to do to you. We've tucked Phyllis up in her bed for the night <laughs> for Lauren to come and see when she comes back to her room. <laughs> night, night, Phyllis. We love you. So, it's been a boring, boring day. Boring grey sky. Boring day. It's supposed to be my day off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a little adventure. I'm going to do some drawing. This vlogging thing is really difficult just because you have to have the camera on at the right time. I just missed three golden opportunities. I saw a pheasant flying off, that's pretty cool. I saw a huge dog with the biggest bit of slobber I've ever seen just slopping all over the shop. And this lady said thank you to me for letting her walk past and her breath smelt like salmon. I suppose you can't really capture that on film, but it would be nice. Hello. Do a lot of graffiti in this old tunnel, but the, uh, the quality's gone down. Let's just say. What's the point in that? What is the point in that? Brought some supplies with me, some delicious chocolate hobnobs. Just spotted some ducks. Wonder if the hobnob is an acquired taste. Let's find out. We're not bothered. Oh my god. Who knew? So coming to the end of the walk now. A little adventure's all finished. Didn't do any drawing whatsoever. But then you know, that's, that's, that's the great thing about being a freelance illustrator. You're free to do a bit or not do a bit. Yes, I chose not to do a bit. Yeah! What? <sighs> Matt's got a bento box. 
Nice. Yeah. Is it good? And I've ordered a vegetarian ramen and I'm super excited about it. It's half past seven. And guess what? I'm going to work. <laughs> Halfway to the train station right now. So I'm having a bit of a nightmare morning. I don't know why, but I missed my first train and I was meant to be meeting Tom, our technician for the show. And I got there and I was looking around for him outside and I was like, that's weird, maybe he forgot. And then I looked and it was literally the minute that my train was leaving. So I ran up the stairs and I got to the platform and it was just as it was pulling away. I couldn't do anything about it, I just had to watch it. So I got on the next one and that would have got me a next, um, in time for my next connection. So I thought, I'll meet him on the next train, it'll be fine, I'll just apologise. So I got on the next train, it was eight minutes late, so it pulled into Bristol Temple Needs at 8.24 and my train was meant to be leaving for Cardiff at 8.24, so now I've got to wait 20 minutes for the next train and I'm going to be late and I don't have Tom's number and I feel really bad because he was getting up half an hour earlier to get the train with me and then I just haven't turned up because I don't even know why. Well, it was the second train's fault. If it had got there... Oh, eight minutes, so annoying! <laughs> and this is all before nine o'clock quarter to nine and this has all happened to me already. I really hate it when something in the morning happens and it sets you up to ruin your whole day. And today at rehearsals we are staying in an hour later so I'm just thinking like, oh, it's just my long day of the week and I'm late to rehearsals and I feel bad for letting Tom down and I'm just annoyed. It's not good. We just got into our dressing room and laid out all of our stuff. Pretty exciting. So, here we go. This is our dressing room, and there's only two of us. <laughs> and there's some like nice screens, these patterns on you can get dressed behind. And then a whole other wall of mirrors. So I can just look at myself everywhere. Mm. So we just got into this space, and we're going to set the stage up now and rehearse till six, like half eleven. I got here in the end, the drama is over. I'm in my dressing room now. <laughs> 